Hello everyone, good draw tips and in this video we are going to talk about how to fix Last epoch is having login issue or it is completely can't login online or you are having an issue such as connection issue or you are stuck on connectivity and also you are stuck on online screen and if you are having can't play online error which is happening for many of these right now and how we can fix this up so let's dive into the workaround The first one it's all about when you are having this trouble, we have to cross check that the first step is all about we have to verify integrity of game file. For this we just need to go over here in the game, right click and go to the properties. Now go for install it file and just click on the verify integrity of game file. So what happens is this will cross check every single files of a game and if any files are corrupted and if any files are missing and all these kind of issues will be fixed by this particular step. It is very important for not only these game, uh, these kind of games, but even for every game, the files of the game has to be fine or it's not corrupted. If it is corrupted, we'll be having these kind of trouble. So it is very important that it should not be uh, corrupted or not. So hence, the verify integrity of game file plays a vital role. So it is quite important that you have to cross check the files of a game. And when you go for it, it will take a little bit of time like hardly I have to say around 5 minutes so it, it is going to cross check every single files of a game and if it is uh, uh, you know uh, it will cross check it and if it's corrupted you'll, they'll be letting you know here and if it's not corrupted it is fine with it you can move to the second step so even tried with this as you can see the 995 files are successfully validated which means all the files are fine with it so once we're done with this one just close this and we have to go back and try launching the game Next one is all about still if you are having the loading screen issue. For example, when you are trying to launch the game and you are in the game but there is a loading screen. Now we just need to wait and what you need to do is we just need to wait for hardly I have to say 10 minutes, exit the game, afterwards try because this even help with few users as well. Next one, when you are in the game just press Alt and F4. Function key F4 has to be pressed simultaneously along with the Alt so that you will be get exit from the game afterwards exit the game now afterwards just try back and you can see next one is all about we need to try restart your pc couple of times so just go over here in the start click on this particular icon go to the power icon and go for a restart once the restart is done just go back and try launch the game that can also be done still if you are having the trouble we can move to the next one that is we have to make sure the date time and region has to be correct for this reason we have to go over here in the search navigate to the settings now from here go to the time and language go for date and time make sure the time zone and time and every three things should be here should be uh, you know this all these three things should be turned on and also over here you have to make sure it is synced on now just go back go to the language and region make sure that you have select the country according to geography which means if you're from united states select united states and if you're from united kingdom select united kingdom and you have to do it accordingly your configuration afterwards just close everything and we have to go back and try launch the game next one is all about we have to allow the game to windows security so just go over here in the game search for control panel now from here we just need to go for uh, system and security go for windows defender firewall Go for allow an airport feature through Windows Defender Firewall. Now from here we have to make sure whether the last epoch is already added. So in most cases the last epoch is already added and the private and public both has to be marked which is very important. So if the game is not here we can add it by default. Just click on the change setting and go for allow another app. Go for browse. Now go to this PC. Navigate to local disk C. Go to program file x86. Go for Steam. Navigate to Steam Apps. Now we just need to go over here and go to the common. Now scroll down and navigate to the game. Last Epoch. Keep scrolling down. Go to the game. Select this one and go for open. So hence the game is already added. It is fine for me. But if the game is not there, we can add it by default. And make sure both the private and public both has to be marked. Once afterwards, just close everything and we have to go back and try launching the game. Next one is all about we have to enable, uh, disable the manual proxy. Just, just go over here in the search and navigate to settings. Now from here we just need to go for network and internet. Now go over here in the proxy and if the uh, you know the proxy is being turned on or if it is set up, if you are having the proxy it will be set up or it will be turned on. So if turn it off and once afterwards just go back, 
Next step is all about nothing but we have to run the network troubleshoot. Just go over here in the search and navigate to the settings. Now from here we have to go for network and internet. Now we just need to go for advanced network settings. Now from here we have to go for uh, over here. We just need to cross check whether we are having the issue or not. So even also you can try sometimes like I said. Sometimes it is quite important that we have to do a network reset as well. So just go over here in the network reset and go for reset. network reset will be what happens is your PC will be restarted at the same time simultaneously. We have to connect back the Wi-Fi once again. So that is also very important. So you should be knowing the password of the Wi-Fi. So what you need to do is you just need to know that as well. So just go over here. Now from here once you cross check this one, we just need to make sure all these things are fine. And even after cross checking this still if you're having the trouble you can also try uh, you know uh, updating the windows as well so just go over here go to the settings now from here we just need to go over here in the windows update and make sure the windows is up to date like i said it is up to date so just make sure the windows is up to date and also once cross check the windows is fine with it you can also try few commands in the uh, cmd so i'll be providing few commands like this that is ip config flash dns IP config release, IP config renew, net sh windsock reset, net sh iot ip reset, net sh interface ipv4 reset, net sh interface ipv6 reset, net sh interface tcp reset. And all these things should be done in the CMD. So just search for CMD like this. Go for run as administrator and go for yes. So the first command I have to copy that is IP config flesh DNS. So just copy this paste this particular command and we have to press enter next one we have to go for ip uh, ip config release we have to copy this and we have to paste it press enter third one is all about we have to go for ip config renew just copy this and we have to paste it and press enter now we just need to go for the fourth one that is net and such windsock reset and we have to copy this and we have to paste it and press enter Fourth one that is net sh int ip reset and we have to copy this and we have to paste it and press enter. Now we have uh, this one that is ntch ipv4 reset so copy this and paste it. Now we just need to paste it and once afterwards go for the next one v6 reset so just copy this and we have to paste it. Next one is all about we can also go for uh, intc tcp reset so just copy this. Now we just need to go for this one. Once every parameters are done, just close everything. A restart should be done on your system. And afterwards, just go back and try launching the game. So these possible workarounds can be done. And also even after trying with this, if you're still having the trouble, you can try uh, switching, to the, uh, switching to a new network. For example, as you can see, over here in the Wi-Fi, I have already connected to a connection FTTH2290954. Uh, just disconnect it and connect to a new network and you have to cross check sometimes you know it might be an issue with the network. So these possible workarounds can be done and I hope this video is helpful and if you find this video helpful don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon for more notification. See you soon in the next video. Peace out. Bye bye.